And just hours earlier, a packed house here at the Frank E. Merriweather Library in Buffalo with residents saying enough is enough, calling for an end to the recent wave of violence here in the Queen City that continues tonight. Since January, there have been 27 homicides. And while police say that number is much lower than last year at this time, neighbors say it's too high and climbing every day. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sierra Johnson has more now on what action neighbors would like to see happen. We want to have a clear vision and we want to agree so that anybody that's not for that vision know that you're not in the right place. The tone was set early. Tonight's meeting at Frankie Merriweather Library was going to be different. Don't despair. Don't breathe. You got an army of men and women out there every day working to try to resolve black on black homicide and crime. It was a meeting of the minds, leaders from all sectors, business, political, and religious, reflecting on a recent wave of deadly violence in the city. These leaders coming together not to point fingers, but to ask who can contribute to a solution. City of Buffalo. Today, Mayor Byron Brown and Buffalo Police Commissioner Daniel Dorinda addressed the recent violence in the city. There are ebbs and flows. Uh, recently, there has been a spike. Certainly, we are concerned about that spike in crime. But Brown went on to say crime in the city is at a 10 year low. And according to BPD, homicides are down compared to this time last year. But Brown and community leaders agree even one homicide is one too many. I don't want to say a lower homicide. I want zero homicide. Back at Merriweather, as leaders discuss what they can do to solve the problem, be it job training or counseling, the moderator challenging those in attendance to match it. The media was even asked to leave to give participants an opportunity to speak openly. The main thing we want to do is support solutions, resolution, uh, and, and plans of action. Tonight's meeting, which was standing room only, is just the beginning of what panelists say will be a series of talks about what community members can do to help contribute to a solution to issues plaguing the community. 7 Eyewitness News will continue to bring you the latest about this developing story, both on air and online, wkbw.com. Sierra Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.